Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, I will be doing a review. I just got my boost in, so I was just checking out, but we're not going to be doing a review on this. I will be doing a review on a 2016 Scat Pack Transmission Oil Change. 2016 Scat Pack Transmission Oil Change. Whoever says that all these new chargers, 2010 and up, I think it is, I don't know, that they don't need transmission oil change, that shit is fucking bullshit, all right? So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to go run out there real quick, and we will be doing this review, all right? Catch on a bit. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Hope everybody's having a good one out there. Um, let me order this little right here at Starbucks real quick. Hold on. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. Something we get for you. Yeah. Can I have an extra large strawberry acai? Okay. And a medium caramel frap. Medium caramel frappuccino. Okay. Yeah. That's all you want. Yeah, that'd be it. Okay. Nine eighty. Thank you. All right, thank you. Starbucks. Yeah. So, um. All right. This is for the 2016 Dodge Charger Scat Pack. I'm doing a review on the transmission oil change. All right. I was driving and um, my car started. First, I start, it started like feeling like a little sluggish. I was getting like a little kind of sluggish problem. I also have this right here, the Sprint Booster. I got a Sprint Booster right here, but I'll do a different review on that. All right. It's like the pedal commander, but they're the originators supposedly. They're like the first ones I made it anyway. So about this fucking transmission oil change so um i got the check engine light on my car and um uh i went to AutoZone so i could get the code read and it read p039 i think that was the code it, but it was gear six incorrect ratio what that means is supposedly the I rpms are lining up with how fast i'm going or whatever it's like reading something wrong or some shit but um I would be like after I would be driving like for over an hour or something um I would like step on it like I notice when I'm cruising on the freeway it'll either be on gear six or gear seven and then like I'll try to step on it and it'll just like like stutter real hard like it wouldn't it wouldn't want to go like and it'll just stay at that speed and if it'll stay at that gear too it would stay on that gear it wouldn't want to switch to no other gears so that happened one time and then it happened again like a week later but then when I did it that time, I got the check engine light on. The check engine light came on. So I went home, woke up the next day, took it to... I was hoping that it wouldn't be there when I uh, woke up. But it was. So then I went to AutoZone, got the code red. And I um, I, uh, I went I went, I went, went directly to Mopar. I went directly to a Mopar dealer. And I took my car and... Um, and they uh i told them about the problem and they told me that they don't do transmission transmission oil changes on these cars and that's fucking bullshit that shit is bullshit how are you never ever ever gonna do a transmission oil change on a car it's liquid that shit come on but yeah so they were insisting uh, and they wanted to do um a um damn i forgot the name of that but um they wanted to like run some computers on it so they could um, see like what's wrong with it. But I already knew what's wrong with it. I told them like what's the issue, and on that um, on that issue it says. Um, hold on, let me pay for these little things real quick. Sorry about that, guys. Hello. Okay. There you go. So. Um, Oh, I went over there. They wanted to do a diagnostics test. That's what they wanted to do. And I, I kept telling them, I was all like, I already know what's wrong with the car. Why am I going to waste money on something that I don't need? Thank you. And um, they were insisting that they don't do transmission oil changes on the car. But I went straight into service, like where they're working on the cars and everything. And um, thank you. Thank you. 
So um, they were just insisting. They wanted to set up an appointment so I could bring it back for a diagnostics test. But I didn't want to do that. I wasn't sure, so I was just like kind of iffy. I was thinking about it, but like, man, should I do it? But this car doesn't, It when when all that was happening, I will drive my car, I would run it through all the gears. They No grinding, no funny noise, nothing. Like this car straight, it's fresh. It's only at 70,000 miles. And um, so I didn't take it. I didn't, I decided not to. And um, what it says, when I looked it up on the computer, that code, the first thing it says is that your transmission oil fluid is either low or dirty and it's time for a change and if it isn't that then to move up to other things that it might be like something wrong with the gears or something worse you know but the first thing that you should do is a transmission oil change if you get this problem or with any other gear it could be it could happen with the first gear all the way to the eight that incorrect gear ratio shit it happened with any of those and it's always in the same number from p039 38 p037 like they're all the same thing but P039 is for the sixth gear. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good night. So, um, yeah, I didn't want to fucking do no fucking diagnostics test. But what pissed me off is that I went directly to Mopar and they let me down. I feel like they let me down. Like, why are you telling all these people out here that own these cars that these cars never need a fucking transmission oil change? Fucking stupid. That shit pissed me off. It's like, and then what pissed me off even more is that I, I YouTube did, Google did, tried to look up transmission oil change for a 2016 Scat Pack, and there ain't nothing. There ain't no videos, and that's why I'm making this one. This is that's why I'm making this one for you guys, so you guys can fucking know this shit. You know, they try to say that this car has a sealed pan and that it never opens or some bullshit like that. That's fucking stupid. It's bullshit. Where are we going now, babe? Bonds. Okay. Bonds? Uh, all right. Um, yeah, about to get some bonds. You know, about the bonds. Little Thanksgiving's around the corner. I hope everybody has a good Thanksgiving, too. Um, so, so, yeah, so I, what I did, um, after that, I, uh, yeah, so I couldn't find no videos, no nothing. The only thing I found on was, uh, the older models, the older model. Then I found a video too of this one guy. He, um, he called, he, he was like, I think it was a Chrysler. Um, uh, but, um, he called, it was a Chrysler or older Dodge. I forgot, but, um, he called the only things that pop up when I look up, when I looked up transmission oil change for a 2016 scat pack um or newer uh the only things that popped up was like differential changes or actual mortar oil changes but nothing on the transmission that's why i'm making this so um there was a video of a guy and he called mopar and he asked them like how do i change the transmission oil and they told him on the phone you don't touch it don't touch it you do not change it and that's fucking stupid imagine if i wouldn't have changed mine and i would have just kept driving like like that it probably would have fucked up my transmission so this is what i did i went to amco that's where i went i went to amco and uh i didn't go to no little moms and pop shops or anything because a lot of people go through this and they do it in small places and they just put any type of transmission oil change transmission oil and change it and it bucks up to your transmission so you got to be careful when you do it but you could do transmission oil changes on these cars you know i don't want to make this video too long you know i want to get straight to the point so um i went to amco uh there was a girl working right there and she hooked me up she she was all like yes we have done transmission oil changes on these cars and on other ones like uh all mopar and all that shit you know so what she did was uh, she called uh, Mopar, the one that I had went to, or the one that I had went to too, and um, she told them I need um, I need the whole setup for a transmission oil change on a 2016 Scat Pack. And they were like, all right, well, we'll send it to you right now. What do you want? Like, it was the pan, the seal, and the transmission oil fluid. Those three things. The filter on the Scat Packs come built in. They're built in into the pan. They're already like stuck on there and shit. So um, 
I was tripping out. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, why did they bullshit me and tell me that they don't do transmission oil changes on these cars? And I told her that I went to service and then she was all like, she's like, that's what they're gonna do. You know, they don't, they, they, they don't do it themselves right there though. But she told me that if I would have gone to parts, that they probably would have told me. Like if I would asked for the parts, they would have sold them to me. But right there in the store, like Mopart, they, they just were insisting like, no, we don't do transmission oil changes on these cars. So trip out. I looked up, I looked into uh, if these cars need transmission oil changes. And I remember reading um, something on the internet and it said that they do use transmission oil changes then that it needs one from 60,000 miles to the 100,000 mile lines. Only if needed though, only if needed, like in my situation, that bullshit that started happening with the gear six incorrect ratio. And that happens if you have low transmission oil or if it's dirty and been in there too long and shit. And, and these cars do need transmission oil changes from the 60,000 mile line to the 100,000 mile line if needed. If your car's still working fine, don't worry about it, you know? But like in my situation, how that bullshit happened, it, and mine's at the 74,000 mile line exact. And it happened like probably like a week ago or two weeks ago. And um, my car was feeling sluggish. I felt like it lost power, it was losing power, you know, and that little bullshit was happening. So I went over there and I bought the kit and I'm gonna show it to you guys right here. I got, I recorded the whole little kit and everything. I didn't, I should have recorded the pan when they pulled it off, but I didn't, my bad about that guys. But I seen it and it has like the little like shavings, the metal shavings and all that bullshit or whatever. And um, they showed me all of that. But um, I did record the kit, the, the pan, the seal and the oil that it uses. And everything has to be direct from Mopar. Don't do it with no other bullshit Jiffy Lube or that they're gonna put some whatever kind of transmission oil in that shit because they will fuck up your car. So, um, I'm just right here driving around the parking lot because I'm talking to you guys. Uh, but yeah, right here at Bonds. So yeah, that's what you gotta do, all right? Your car does need a transmission oil change if needed, but they do recommend to do it from the 60,000 mile line to the 100,000 mile line. And I went to Amco and they did a good fucking job. Like I was so happy as soon as I got my car back. Um, they um, I reversed and I felt it right away. Like, like it had all this power and I got the little sprint booster on it. So as soon as I pushed the gas, like the throttle opens quickly, you know. But this shit had like a little drag and shit. But as soon as I drove away, man, I felt it like back to normal and I was happy because I, I was really hoping that it was nothing bigger or some bullshit. And I already like test drove it and everything and gassed it down and all that shit, you know? And this shit is back to normal. So 2016 Scat Pack, Dodge Charger, they do need transmission oil changes. All that shit is bullshit. Don't believe what they say. It is recommended from the 60,000 mile line to the 100,000 mile line. So now you guys know, and I made this video for y'all because I didn't find out one fucking video on transmission oil changes from the fucking newer Dodge Chargers and shit or whatever. But now you guys know. So don't fucking believe them when they say it never needs an oil change because that shit is bullshit. And that shit really upset me with Mopar because I do fucking love my car and I do fucking fuck with this shit heavy. But yeah, guys, I hope this video helps you guys. I hope it does come through for y'all. And... I'm proof right here. I did a fucking transmission oil change on this shit. What they do, it, it does have a little hole too from when they leak, leak it out. They drain it out and then they drop the pan out and they throw it. You gotta get rid of that pan and that seal. Make sure, if you do it, make sure you get a brand new pan, a brand new seal and the transmission oil. Um, And they change all that shit out. Well, you have to because the filter is uh, built into the fucking, the pan. So you will need all that shit new. And it cost like four or five hundred bucks. I paid like four hundred bucks to do it. So um I hope that shit uh fuck I fucking dropped this camera. But yeah. Um I hope that this video comes through for y'all. And um like I said, I, I did this because I didn't see no fucking videos on it when I looked it up and that shit was trouble, you know, like I didn't know what the fuck to do. I, I was I was sketch for do I was like sketch oh look at another charge that's just kidding. I uh I was sketch on doing this. Um, transmission oil change I was like kind of worried and shit but that was the issue that was the issue right there the transmission oil was fucking dirty that's what it was it was either low or dirty and I seen it and it was dirty and that shit made me get that code gear 6 P039 
incorrect ratio. So yeah, guys, it's your boy Trap Nine, and I'm about to get the fuck out of here. Go to Vons, get a turkey or some shit for Thanksgiving. Hope all y'all have a blessed night. All right, I love y'all. Peace. Yeah, I knew it didn't use the ATF4 one. It's an eight and nine speed one, huh? Yeah. And they will tell you exactly yeah. what holes in your car. That's how all dealerships are. Give them the last eight, and they'll tell you exactly what that holes in your car. They didn't want to tell me nothing when I was over there. Gasket. 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 Right here. That oh, so yeah. it does come built into yeah. it, huh? That's what's what it's going to That's crazy. Strictly Mopar. Ah! Uh, I'ma come in hard. Trap nine. Little bitch, get it. Ripping these bullets, I'm letting them loose. Aiming this beam while I constantly shoot. Better to thang, cause I'm aiming at you. Guaranteed enter, burn in and go through. Ripping these bullets, I'm letting them loose. Aiming this beam while I constantly shoot. Better to thang, cause I'm aiming at you. Guaranteed enter, burn in and go through. Ripping these bullets, I'm letting them loose. Aiming this beam while I constantly shoot. Better to thang, cause I'm aiming at you. Guaranteed enter, burn in and go through. Ripping these bullets, I'm letting them loose. Aiming this beam while I constantly shoot. Better to thang, cause I'm aiming at you. Guaranteed enter, burn in and go through. Running, I'm whipping, I'm shooting. I whip it, I whip it all up in the Pyrex Taking all cash cause 